Now that I've covered all the automatic weapons in Doom Eternal and made a video explaining the basics of quick switching, it's time that I discuss the single shot weapons, starting with none other than the Ballista. This weapon is one of the coolest looking guns in the Slayer's arsenal and can also trivialize some of the most frustrating enemies in Doom Eternal, namely the shield guys, carcasses and marauder. In this video, I want to explain how you can use the Ballista and its mods effectively, and also share some of my favorite strategies involving this weapon. Let's begin by discussing the base fire of the Ballista. This is a hitscan attack, which deals a good amount of damage at any range, and is also part of two of the main four quick switching combos, the Precision Bolt Ballista and the Ballista Super Shotgun. The Ballista Super Shotgun is great against the Marauder, and the Precision Bolt Ballista is very effective against enemies with two weak points. The Ballista deals extra damage to flying enemies, so the Precision Bolt Ballista is a great way of taking out pain elementals at long range. One Ballista shot also puts a Prowler into a glory kill state. The recoil of firing the Ballista will push you back, which is something you can use to your advantage. If you are in the air, shooting at an enemy below you, you can use a quick Ballista shot to keep yourself in the air for an extra second or so. You can also use this Ballista Boost to back off from a close range engagement if it's getting too dangerous. The Ballista can also be used in combination with jump pads. Just shoot the Ballista at the jump pad as you make contact with it for a height or speed boost. Now let's talk about the Arbalest. This mod consumes 25 cells, same as the base fire of the Ballista, and is deadly against flying enemies. One shot takes out a Kako and the splash damage from the explosion will put any Kako within its range into a glory kill state. So, this mod is the ideal choice against a large group of Kako demons. Mastering this mod removes the pause between shots if you get a direct hit on an enemy. This coupled with the fact that two direct hits from the Arbalest are guaranteed to stagger a pain elemental makes the Arbalest the ultimate anti-meatball attack. You can finish off a pain elemental in two shots if it's not too far away and you hit it in the eye with one of the shots. But if you want to be certain that you're going to kill it, then just follow up the two Arbalest shots with a precision bolt shot for a guaranteed kill. The Arbalest is also used in the standard Marauder one cycle combo. Executing this combo is relatively simple. Shoot the Marauder with the Arbalest and then immediately switch to the rocket launcher while holding the use weapon mod button and simultaneously spamming the grenade button, making sure that the first grenade lands behind or next to him. Fire the first lock on burst as soon as the first grenade lands and the second one as soon as possible after it. Shooting the Arbalest at the ground and using the splash damage against two Marauders is also a very effective strategy. Now, let's talk about the Destroyer Blade. This mod was considered trash when Doom Eternal first released, but recently it has gained a lot of popularity. The Destroyer Blade charges up very slowly and you can't move with a full charge. A full charge consumes 50 plasma cells and shoots a wide blade of energy, which deals a ton of damage, but less than the lock-on of the rocket launcher. The unupgraded Destroyer Blade is kind of bad, but when mastered it becomes one of the best mods in the entire game. A single charge of the Destroyer Blade can go through any number of shields and one-shot carcasses and prowlers. This makes the Destroyer Blade an excellent choice for carcass infested arenas. The Destroyer Blade allows you to actually use carcass shields against other enemies. If a bunch of carcasses spawn a massive wall of shields between you and whatever demons are currently a threat to you, just calmly charge up the Destroyer Blade and make those demons regret all of their life decisions. Two charges of the Destroyer Blade can one-shot turrets and a full charge can one-shot a group of Spectre Whiplashes. The fully charged Destroyer Blade is a great opener for when you enter an arena. If you know which demons are going to spawn and where, you can just pre-charge the Destroyer Blade, freeze a Super Heavy for extra damage and shoot the Destroyer Blade, dealing massive damage to the Super Heavy and taking out any fodder in front or behind it. That said, the Destroyer Blade still has the major disadvantage of limiting your movement, so it is reasonable to think that you can't charge up the Destroyer Blade in the middle of a big fight, but that would be incorrect. 
There are a number of ways to go around this. The first and simplest is to have air mobility equipped and jump in place making these wiggly worm-like movements in the air in an attempt to dodge incoming projectiles while you're charging up the destroyer blade. This works in some situations but it will get you killed if you are within melee range of a demon. The second solution to the mobility problem is to use a jump pad and charge up the destroyer blade while in the air. This method is extremely effective and is what I use if I want to fully charge the destroyer blade in the middle of combat. The last way to go around the movement limitation of the destroyer blade is to just use bunny hopping. This way you can move normally or, if you're skilled enough, even faster than normal with the fully charged destroyer blade. I hope you found this guide useful and you learned something new from it. If you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe and enable all notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And check out my other Doom Eternal guides. See you in the next one.